Hey guys, this is Thomas from Sofort. Uh, today uh, we will be talking about what's important when you buy a vintage Polaroid 600 type camera. What pitfalls to avoid and what models are good and what features you should look out for. There are a lot of different models of this kind of camera, but in the end they're actually basically pretty much the same. Polaroid started the production of this kind of camera back in the 80s and they produced the camera until the uh, early 2000s. So about 20 years of production, but in the end even the cameras that were made in the late 80s are actually pretty much the same like the ones in the 90s uh, or in the 2000s. They do look a little bit different, but uh, there's just a few functions on this kind of camera that uh, is actually uh, different on the various models. Apart from looking for a model that you like, uh, there are a few features to look out for. So Polaroid made actually two different kind of cameras. They made a model with a fixed focus and they made an autofocus model. Um, the fixed focus model uh, basically says everything from 1.2 meters till infinity is gonna be in focus. And the autofocus model, model has uh, different zones for focusing. Uh, and you can go as close as 60 centimeters or two feet with the autofocus model. Polaroid also made a fixed focus camera with a close-up lens. And like this model here, you have a close-up lens and you can slide it in front of the regular lens. And then you can go uh, take pictures in between 60 centimeters and 1.2 meters or two and four feet. So if you look for a model, uh, either go for one with autofocus or go for one with a fixed focus and uh, close-up lens. I would avoid getting a fixed focus uh, model that does not have a close-up lens. Uh, the close-up lens uh, adds value to the camera and actually the, it doesn't make the camera more expensive. You can recognize the autofocus camera either by the name, it says some kind of like Polaroid 636EF for autofocus, or some of them also have a golden circle, which is uh, sonar. So your camera will send out sonar waves uh, like bats. And when the first thing comes in between the camera and the wave, it will send the information back and the camera will choose the lens accordingly. So either go for the name AF or look out for the golden circle. Also what's important is that you should buy a Polaroid 600 box type camera that has a flash. There are a few models that do not have the flash like the Polaroid Amigo. I would avoid getting one of those because again, uh, there's not really a huge price difference between models that have a flash and models that ha don't have it. So the newer models that were made like in the late 90s, they're actually rounder in shape. The older models, uh, they are a look a little bit more like a box and they have more edges. And usually people like the older models a little bit better. I think they look more vintage and people prefer that look. Uh, the newer models, they are a little bit more reliable. Uh, they don't break down uh, as easy as the older ones, but it's not really a big difference. In my experience, um, you could really go for also one that was made in the 80s. Usually you don't really use the camera that much. Uh, and in the end, uh, they're, they're both pretty much the same camera. I cannot really say if there is like a better image quality or anything, only that the newer models are a little bit more reliable. A really good way to find out if the Polaroid camera that you have in your hand is working is testing it with an empty film pack. So uh, the, the Polaroid cameras, the old Polaroid cameras, they do not have an extra battery. The battery comes with the film pack. Looks like this and you can see you have the contacts here on the bottom of the film pack. And what you can do is you can use this empty film pack, you throw it in the camera. If the camera makes uh, the noise and cycle, then you can think, okay, it looks like camera should work. We'll try this in a minute. Uh, what you can do to, on top of it to make the test even better, you can add uh, old pictures uh, in the, the film pack. We do have a video for that. Um, uh, I would recommend checking that out, how to do that, but I will show you uh, what I mean. So we put in old pictures into this film pack and now we can test the camera without taking a real picture and without using uh, an expensive film on a camera that maybe is not working. 
so what you're gonna do is you just take this camera um, you open the film door you put in the film pack you close it and then the camera should eject the dark slide okay so this is good dark slide was ejected um, this is the first test then you have to test uh, the shutter buttons of the camera. You start with the shutter button without flash. The camera ejects the picture. Uh, that's good. And you can also check the, if the shutter opens and closes and it looks normal. So you can look into the camera, press the shutter and see if the shutter opens and closes and it looks normal. And the next test is that you uh, test the camera also with the shutter button with flash. See if the flash fires. So this camera is actually working. You uh, heard it, it is a little bit uh, scratchy, but it is working fine um, and uh, it looks pretty good. So what else can you test with the camera? Um, basically you can uh, see if the roll is... Um, but, but I think this is like... Um, if you test the camera like this and it did the sounds and the noise and the flash fires and the shutter opens, then in almost more than 90% of the time I would say the camera is working fine and you have a winner. So one last tip is where to buy a, a secondhand camera. Obviously you can uh, just go to a flea market or Craigslist and bring your empty film pack, test the camera, see if it's working. Uh, like I explained in this video and then you think you, you, it's pretty sure that, that you'll be fine. Um, other options are you can go to a place like eBay but uh, I can say like on eBay people can say I did not have the chance to test the camera, uh, I think it's working, I think it isn't working but you really really don't know. Uh, it depends on what kind of camera it is and the prices. It's, uh, I, you, sometimes you can risk it or you should risk it and sometimes you don't. Uh, I don't actually like buying cameras like this, but yeah, you can give it a try. Apart from that, we do have a shop where we sell a package where you get, get a camera, it's tested, uh, you get a manual, you get all the film tips, you have our support, uh, you get a, a, a one year warranty and it's, it's a package and you can start shooting instant photography. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions about uh, buying Polaroid cameras, that I did not tackle in this video, just leave them in the comments and uh, see you soon.